Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly and easily make hummingbird food. There's absolutely no reason that you need to buy a hummingbird food concentrate anymore. I'm gonna add one quarter cup of white sugar in the pot, and then you're gonna add one cup of water in that. Add the heat and start to bring towards a boil, but don't actually get to boiling. All right, once it's heating up, I kind of just stir it around to get that sugar dissolving and not stuck on the bottom. As the water gets a little bit hotter, it'll be um, dissolving a lot more easier. All right, it's been heating up for a couple minutes and I stop boiling or heating when there's the little bubbles like that on the bottom of the pot. I don't want this to come to full boiling, but I do want to see those tiny little bubbles that's telling me that it's heated up, the sugar should be um, completely dissolved, and we are ready to take it off of the burner. So now I just take it off the burner and I let it sit and come to room temperature. You could also pour this in a heat safe um, glass jar and quickly cool it down by putting it in the refrigerator if you chose to. All right. So sometimes I double this batch just so I don't have to go through these steps more than once, especially in the summertime when I'm switching it out a lot. So in that case, you would do half a cup of sugar and two cups of water. Um, and then you do it in the same way. So it is sometimes easier just to pour it into a measuring cup and then put it into your hummingbird feeder. If you wanna do it another way, you go right at it. Um, you can also pop this in the refrigerator if you want to and cool it down a little bit more. And then you are just going to pour that liquid into your hummingbird feeder. That is as simple as it is, y'all. And now that we have made some food, it's time to just simply put it back out and let your hummingbirds come and feast on it. So I told you it was gonna be really quick and easy. That's all there is to it. Like I said, sometimes in the summertime, especially I make a double batch um, and I put half of it in the feeder and I put half of it in the refrigerator and keep it cold. Um, and then that'll last about a week or so, but generally I'm switching out the feeder uh, more often than that because you wanna keep it really fresh and clean when it's hot and muggy. You don't want that feed getting moldy inside the liquid. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then does it matter if it's hot? Well, it doesn't matter if it's room temperature or cold. You should never put it in hot. That would actually melt the plastic, actually. Um, it doesn't really matter. I sometimes just put it in straight from room temperature. A lot of times it's gonna be cold. The hummingbirds don't really seem to care one way or the other. My mom actually brings in the hummingbird feeders at her home and puts them in the refrigerator overnight so the ants don't get to them outside. And then she puts them out um, cold in the morning and her hummingbirds absolutely love it. So that is an idea. I don't know if the hummingbirds can really tell a difference. I honestly don't know. Um, and then the only other thing would be, I've heard of people just stirring sugar in the water, just stirring and stirring and stirring until it dissolves and, and let, ex ugh, and not using heat. If that works for you, go for it. I think that heating up the sugar and water together is going to make it actually dissolve better. Um, but if for some reason you can't heat it up, then that works, go for it. So um, hope you enjoyed this really quick hummingbird food recipe and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. Take care everybody, bye-bye.